just keep putting one foot in front of the other. And I took that to heart. And all I did for the next eight miles is next step, next step, next step. And what I learned there, and that's my next game changer, is that you have to learn how to shift your mindset because we are all so much more capable than we give ourselves credit for. We can do so much, but what happens is our brains and our emotions and our minds start telling us, you know, we're not strong enough. We're not skinny enough. We're not bright enough. We're not smart enough. We're not this enough. We're not that enough. And all those things slow you down. They pull you back. Oh, I can't do that. I could never go on stage. I don't know how to do that. I would be too afraid. So what happens is those emotions, whether it's in business or in our personal life, start to shut us down. So what I've learned for myself, and by the way, you know, you see me up here and talking and I've done so much through my career, but it not, didn't necessarily come naturally. It wasn't the thing that I would get on the Oprah show, or I was the correspondent for the Today Show, or I was, you know, I had a, a LA Times regular article every week in the LA Times, and every time I stepped into a new area, just like Sarah was talking about this morning, my heart would be going like this. I would be, my, I couldn't get my thoughts together. And what I did is I started working on this technique that I want to share with you today. Because I use it every single day of my life and techniques like this. I call it my BLT, breathing listening technique. So I just want to take you through it. It takes about 60 seconds and you don't have to really do anything special right now. Um, you know, if your legs are crossed, you might want to uncross them, but don't worry about making too many shifts. Um, what you do is you just Everybody exhale together. And now inhale on the count of four. One, two, three, four. And then exhale. Same count, four counts out. Let's do it again. Inhale. At the top of the inhale, hold your breath and listen for a sound. I hear a vent. Exhale. We're gonna do four rounds like that. If you wanna close your eyes, you can. Inhale, top of the inhale, find a different sound and name it. I heard a chair crack. Exhale. Just a couple more cycles. Inhale. Hold your breath. Find a sound. And exhale. And this last time through, take it up to the inhale, go for the hold, and try to see if you can hear and feel your heart pounding. And exhale. Okay, so notice what happened in 60 seconds you shifted your mindset. You came into the present moment right here, right now. Right here, right now. Right here, right now. And one of the things that I practice this throughout the day, and I have different versions of it, but keeping positive, keeping focus, keeping on track, not letting the thoughts consume you, are all, it's all about getting present. And when you get present, your brain goes from the irrational, what happens part of the, you start going from the irrational, kind of impulsive part of your brain, to more of the frontal lobe, where you're more rational, you have a better thought proce process, and you make better decisions. And that process, when you start practicing it, practicing this technique or any techniques like this, it starts to become second nature that you're right here. I'm present with you guys right now. I'm not thinking of anything else. And when the reverse is true, when you're present with me, where you're not checking, you know, your, your phones, when you're not doing this, when you're not thinking, oh my God, my stomach is so hungry. Oh, I wish whatever your thoughts are going through. I don't like this. I like this. You calm those thoughts down. 
And that's where power comes from. Power comes from having that laser focus with whatever you're doing. 